All right, so I'm on a little roll call here with this 2005 Cobalt. Uh, what I got pulled up here is accelerator uh, pedal position and the throttle position angles. And what was going on with this car was uh, these two were getting out of sync and causing it to go in power reduce mode, which if you have a GM, you know you can barely drive a car when it gets like that. So uh, what, one thing I will note about these 2005 Cobalts, I think it was only the 05 year, these had uh, faulty ECMs uh, for a few. There was like a run of, of faulty ECMs. I'll try to put the uh, the numbers on those, on which ones they were. It wasn't the whole entire year. It was just a run of them. Um, so if you have issues like this, from what my understanding on these Cobalts, the ECM was bad, and it would cause these same issues uh, if you had that run. So you have to check that before you do any other diagnosis. But what was going on with this one was uh, the accelerator pedal position was going out of sync of the throttle body, and uh, the the accelerator pedals on these cars they're, they're held on by three. I was going to show you, but I just uh, like I said, I'm on a road call. I'm not really set up for all this. Um, but uh, the accelerator pedal on these are held on by three bolts, 10 millimeter. Uh, you can't really get a socket in there. You got to use an open end. Uh, I use open end ratchet. And uh, anyway, uh, you got that and one pigtail, and that's all it is. It takes these pedal. The pedal and the center are all one piece. And you can see here, uh, you know, those two will file each other uh, on the graph. And if those two, if one of the one of those two get out of sync, it'll put this car right in power safe mode, and then you're basically crawling down the street. Um, so I've been driving it uh, about 15 minutes, I guess, and it's running good, no uh, issues. Um, I can't remember what I was gonna say, but uh, oh, if you get that 2135 and the 2138. PO, and this one actually had a PO651, the loss of 5 volt reference. Um, if you get those codes, don't automatically assume it's your throttle body. I know, uh, especially on the newer cars, it's, it's real common for a throttle body to go out of TPS. And uh, you might just say, well, I'll just, you know, uh, change that out. But this one was the, the accelerator pedal was dropping out on it. And I wish I could have got a scope on it and did all that but uh that's all at my garage and like i said this is a little road call uh i came and looked at it a couple days ago and i couldn't even plug my computer into it because uh the it wasn't the car wasn't the the port wasn't powering up my uh scan tool so anyway ended up long story short ended up being a blown fuse in the outside fuse box on these cobalts uh if your power, if your port's not uh, powering up your uh, scan tool, look at your auxiliary slash lighter fuse out underneath your dash or underneath your uh, hood. Um, when those blow, it won't power up your uh, scan tool. So that's just a little note on these. I thought it was going to be a little quick. Come up, check it out, see what's going on, and then end up being an ordeal on my day off. But whatever. Uh, so yeah, if you get those 2135, 2138, if you have a scope, that's the best way, I think, to check it, because you can hook it up and run, you know, engine off, key on. The problem, you know, a lot of the time these are intermittent, so you have to catch it when it's doing it. But uh, if you get a scope on it, you can kind of see it dropping out on the waveform. Uh, if you don't have a scope, uh, then, you know, a scan tool like this, you know, this is Autel Maxi, which I know you're... Uh, home mechanics and I gotta have something like this but uh, if you have uh, you know a way to get a good scan tool or, or uh, one that has good PIDs um, you can kind of watch it drop out on the scan tool too but uh, anyway I just want to make a quick video uh, don't always assume it's your throttle body and um, yeah, these accelerator pedals are pretty fault. They get faulty too. And I, the other thing, uh, these accelerator pedals aren't cheap. I think they're over three hundred dollars at the dealer. They're a little cheaper from the parts stores. So, um, you know, that is what it is. It's not a cheap thing. 
uh, to replace. So there's just like I said, it's those the accelerator pedal sensor and pedal are all one piece. So anyway, just a quick video on this. I think this one's fixed. I'm driving now about 20 minutes, no problems. Uh, the other day when I drove it, it went into power save mode within the first five minutes. And I was barely able to get it back to uh, where it was at. So I think this one's fixed. So we'll uh, the pedal on that cobalt. I wanted to kind of show that. Uh, you know, this will be up in the car like this. And you want to take the pigtail off first. And then if it's easier to take this top bolt off. This will be the top bolt on it. It's easier to take that loose and get it all the way loose before you take these bottom ones off. Because you take these bottom ones off first. You can't get these bolts out of the car or off of this while it's in the car because of the heater box. So these bolts come out and they kind of hang like this. They'll hang like that where you can't uh, pull them all the way out. So if you get, if you get these bottom ones out first, uh, then you have hardly any room to take this top one out. Uh, it's just easier to uh, take this one all the way loose. And then, you know, I don't want to take this one loose. And then this one is the easiest way to do it. And uh, it's kind of opposite when you put it back up there. But in, also you can't get a socket up there and a ratchet, so you use a uh, open-end ratcheting open-end if you have one. That makes it a lot easier than just sitting there with an open-end and cranking it uh, without the ratcheting action. So I just kind of wanted to show that uh, accelerator pedal. This is the, the uh, pedal sensor. It's all one piece. And I just wanted to kind of show that to kind of finish that video up. So anyway, if you like this... Uh, video then go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel YouTube channel and we'll see you on the next one